Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. I'm Spike Viper and we're gonna be, uh, well, we're, we're gonna be messing with the sun. I'm sorry guys. It's just starting to get warm outside as well, but we're gonna make it extra toasty because Twi Twitch wants me to give it a second star. So we'll, we'll have a binary star system, but we can do this with so many different kinds of stars. I mean, we could go from like little star to... <laughs> Yes! <laughs> this is the binary system we need. <laughs> right here, this will do it. Alrighty, so let's just let's make sure it's in binary mode. I think I messed up, guys. This isn't this isn't the out the outcome that we were looking for. Wow. That really do be moving though. Look how fast that's moving. Oh my god. What the heck, man? How fast did it put it down? 280 kilometers per second. That's pretty insane. For for a star that large, can you imagine that just going by? You, you'd be so dead. You just, just dead. Thank God there's no stars hurtling towards us. Okay, let's do a real one now. That star was chunk. That was the chunkiest star. Alright, so let's... Not as chunky as your star right here, but pretty close. Pretty close. Alright, so let's try a binary sun system to start. Let's just get a sun around a sun. How did you find a barber? It's called my mom. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that was quite violent. Wow, yikes. Okay, that wasn't really binary. That was more of just fly out of the universe. Okay, yeah, let's try this again, but try to make it not do that. Okay, um... Yeah, that's the issue. The binary ones... ...have to kind of move. So what we're gonna do is we're going to... Ugh. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so we've got the two... ...suns, and what we'll do is we will... Zero velocity both of them and then we'll auto orbit this one. I don't know if that'll work I really have no clue if that will work. Oh It it's not gonna work that is going to actually crash into the Sun But what if we just make its speed go up a little bit so that it doesn't crash into the Sun? Nope, that's still going to crash into the Sun, but if we give it more speed it won't wait we did it Oh, but now it's just gonna get flung out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay, they're doing ballet, but they're they're going so fast. They're moving so fast that they're just gonna like abandon all the planets, going out for a cigarette and never coming back. <laughs> Do you see how close they're getting together? It's impressive that they're not colliding or ripping each other apart. Okay, so the only way this is gonna work is if we do not do two objects that are the same mass. We need something that is much, much less massive than the sun to make this work. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab... I wish I could like sort, but yeah. Proxima Centauri seems to be what we want here. And then what we can do is this, boop. Okay. That is still moving quite a bit. Now it's not- Oh my god, Mercury, no! <laughs> Mercury got really close there for a second. Okay. Thank you, Anonymous Cheerer, for the hundred bits. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to keep trying this, I mean... Further away, we'll create- Mercury's gonna die, though. Like, Mercury has no chance. But if we do this- Oh! Can, can the solar system actually account for that? Oh! Oh, it is! Look at that! Everything's moving with this- Oh, no, Earth. I don't think Earth is going to have enough time to- Oh, maybe it will. Oh, wow, we just, like, merged orbits with Mars. But I don't think that Earth is going to, like, be abandoned by the sun. So that that is progress. This it's really challenging to get the solar system to move with the sun. Uh, wow, Mercury really is getting cold. It's okay. Mercury wasn't important anyways. Quickly, someone put the crab meme in. Mercury is good. So when Proxima Centauri is 
closer to Earth. I wonder if the light is more distinctly reddish. I mean, there's two stars now. So, like, you'd think it would be a little bit warmer, but then again, we screwed up Earth's orbit really badly. So this isn't the worst outcome, actually. This is... This isn't that bad. I mean, considering the the massive, massive change we just made, negative 10 degrees isn't that bad, and humanity could actually acclimate to that with our modern technology. It, we, we, it would be bad, but it wouldn't be like, end of the world, end of the world. I mean, until the food shortages start to hit. But, you know, we could figure out growing underground. It's fine. It's like when you play RimWorld in the Arctic, which, by the way, Aaron and I did that, and it's so much fun. Mmm, cannibalism. Okay, well, let me just say, it looks like everyone's doing fine, though. I mean, the lights are still there. It's it's fine. Negative 10 degrees, another day in Canada. I, I guess that's true. I'm not Canadian, so I can't relate, but... I do know in the land of maple syrup, it is quite cold. Okay, so what if we have a little bit more fun and we increase the sun's mass? <laughs> oh, this, this never ends well. Kids, never increase the sun's mass. Um, oh, see? That's why we just accidentally collapsed the sun into a blue star. But that's okay. I'm sure that there will be no repercussions. Earth, how's it go? Earth is getting very cold now. But it's okay, we can fix it, because now we can get Proxima Centauri, bring it closer, and what we'll do is we'll turn down its mass, so that it's just, like, not as crazy. We will get a working binary system. Okay, that's no longer a star. There we go. That's the smallest we can go, and that's... And we got the Earth pretty chunk. Not the Earth, the Sun. The Sun is pretty chunky as well now, so... Damn. Look at that. This has now become a really interesting system. Tiny, tiny little star orbited by a less massive but larger star. And then we've got poor Earth. Earth's starting to get a little bit chilly. When the ice caps be growing. Actually, no, it's pretty bad. I was saying it was sta- Oh! Oh, it is stabilizing! What the heck? Wait, do we have a perfect sign function here? Is it gonna curve all the way back up? No way! No, it didn't. Nope, it only regained half of the heat that it lost. But will it continue like this forever? That is the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fine. We can change the infrared- Infrared emission uh, under surface. Here we go. And we can really reduce the amount. Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. Yes. Yes, we've done it. So now, so now the Earth is going to let out a bit more of its own heat. Spike, change your PFB to bald. I'm not bald, darn it, just close. Alright, here we go. We're warming things up and then we're gonna have to balance it. I like how we, we just pretend that Earth is the only planet, none of the other ones matter. As long as Earth is fine, everything is fine, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm a little bit Earth-centric, but I think that's... I think it makes sense that I'm biased. Alright, 4 degrees is fine. 4 degrees is gonna work. Okay, it's actually very challenging to get this stable. Oh, oh, that's stable! Look at that! We got it almost perfect! Ah, if that was the chart of my heart, I'd almost not die. That scrappy spike, you will watch this. Damn, that didn't make it less spiky. I thought I could stretch it width-wise. Okay, look at Jupiter. Jupiter just gets to do these absolutely massive loops around. Now let's do one more. For fun, let's go ahead and make Jupiter. <laughs> the temperature is crashing faster than the economy. Ha. 
Haha, <laughs> I get it because the economy is crashing. Let's turn Jupiter into a star because that would technically be a binary system as well. Just, you know. You know. A little bit more dangerous, but. You know. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. You see, Jupiter gets very angry very quick. Quickly. There we go. Oh my god, that is a very interesting looking star. I don't even know what that's classified as. Wow. It's negative 166 degrees, but it is a star. So, that's, that's interesting. Black dwarf. Nice. Wait! But it's actually working! And it's not destroying the solar system. <gasps> Have we found a binary system that works? I mean, Earth and Venus got a little bit close there, not gonna lie. But, like, you know, if the orbits are only slightly destroyed, then it's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad. Earth is actually a reasonable temperature. Nice! I think we did it. Jupiter was the key. I mean, the sun is really doing a little loop now, but that's fine. Okay, let's see if we can make Jupiter a little bit brighter without devastating consequences. I feel like there's going to be devastating consequences. Oh no, Ceres, no! Oh, the asteroid belt! Just flinging millions of asteroids at her. Okay, we're starting to see some of those consequences. How do we get it to not be a black dwarf anymore? No, it, it just wants to be a black dwarf. There is there is no changing the color. Can I actually just go into appearance? Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. No, I can't. I can't change the color of it. That's sad. All right. <laughs> Well, Jupiter, it was it was a good run. I think I'm gonna actually change your uh, luminosity here. What's that? Whoa, a thousand watts. Let's just do one one sun. No, just doesn't care. And now it's eating the sun. Uh, I guess emitting black doesn't really help. Where's the color at? Oh, there's the temperature. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a really interesting star color. Look at that. That looks like something that would absolutely end your career. I am I am very impressed. Wow. I wonder what it would look like from Earth. I mean, we have to ask this question. God, all the hair roasts, they don't end, do they? I'll join the military just to make your joke work. Oh my god, look at- look at Earth! Whoa, that looks so cool. Wait, I need a better shot of this. I really like getting, like, very photogenic shots in this game because they always look awesome. Alrighty, what if we get Earth, like, super close? Oh, it doesn't look quite as cool anymore. That's sad. That's real sad. It's too bright now. It's too bright. Man, the entire world looks like Australia. That's whack. I mean, that is pretty cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. Jupiter, folks. This is, this is what happens when Jupiter is angry. It does kind of look like a melon. A little bit. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We'll we'll do something else today later. I I won't say what. I'll probably work on a project or something. But uh, join the Discord and stuff, you know. And uh, we're back to daily uploads, boys. I'm officially out of college, which means I'm going to eat this Hershey kiss.